What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Pokemon TCG Pocket video. Today, we got a spicy deck. I think, look, I'm not one to toot my own horn, but I think I cooked with this one. I think I absolutely cooked with this one. I finally pulled a second Gengar EX. I've had one for the longest time. Finally pulled a second one, and we're going to go over this Gengar EX deck I put together. And I think this is my new favorite deck. I, I love this deck. It is it is so fun. I've been playing it so much. Um, so let's go over Gengar EX real quick since he's the main star of the show. And then we'll go over the rest of the cards in the deck. So Gengar EX is a stage two evolution. He is a psychic type 170 HP, which is, you know, nothing to sneeze at. That's a lot of health. He has uh, for three psychic energy. He does spooky shot for 100 damage. Two retreat cost, and he is weak to darkness. But the best thing about Gengar EX here is his ability, Shadowy Spellbind. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent can't use any supporter cards from their hand. Now, this is one of those cards that it might be kind of hard to see the value at first, right? Because it's like, well, is this really doing anything? You know, maybe your opponent doesn't have any supporter cards in their hand. So maybe, maybe Gengar is just not really doing anything, right? He's just a big, a big body that's dealing a hundred damage, which in that case, you know, there are other cards that can do what he does better. But I think this ability is, is undervalued. I think people are sleeping on this, on this ability. I think it is absolutely strong because I think supporter cards are, the strongest type of card in the game, right? That's why you can only use one of them per turn. I mean, if we look at the supporter cards here, Professor's Research, right? Your opponent can't Professor's Research if you have Gengar EX in your active slot. They can't draw cards. Maybe they need, they have a, a Charmeleon, they're about to evolve into Charizard EX, and they can't draw into him with Professor's Research, right? They can't high roll Misty you. They can't hit you with the Misty. They can't one-shot Surge you with a Raichu. Uh, no one really plays Brock. Sorry, Brock. <laughs> they can't Sabrina you. And this this card is pretty much in every deck, right? I would say Sabrina and Giovanni and Professor's Research are in almost every deck. They can't Giovanni you. Lane decks are basically useless against you because this card just can't be used. Uh, Erica can't heal her Grass-type Pokemon for 50. I mean, it's just such a strong ability. Like... It's insanely, insanely good. Um, I think people are kind of sleeping on it because, like I said, it's one of those things that's hard to see. Like, is this actually getting value, right? Whereas something like using a Pokemon attack, let's say, for example, like Mewtwo EX, right? Attacking for 150, you see that you're doing 150 damage each turn. But you don't necessarily see um, what you're denying your opponent, right? Unless you're using Hand Scope. You could use hand scope with this deck, right? And kind of see like, okay, uh, oh, they have, uh, you know, they have uh, a Sabrina in their hand. So I'm going to put Gengar EX in the active slot. They can't Sabrina me, right? So in that sense, like you can use hand scope to kind of see your opponent's hand, but it's not necessary. But anyways, my point that I'm trying to get across is that I think this ability is really really powerful and undervalued and not to mention he does 100 damage and he has 170 hp which is a really high amount so i really like this guy a lot let's go over the rest of the deck here we got of course um just two ghastly and two haunters which are uh just the the basic and stage one evolutions of gengar and then we have two clefairies and two clefables now i really like this uh clefairy clefable combo because uh, a couple different reasons. One, it's just a it's just a good cheap Pokemon to start doing damage, right? Basic Clefairy, 60 HP uh, for one energy. You're doing 20 damage, and it has a retreat cost of one, right? Then you evolve it into Clefable, 100 HP, which is a really good threshold. It gets past uh, Pikachu EX unless they are running Giovanni, right? And then for one energy, it's hitting for 40. That is not bad at all. And then again, it has a one retreat cost, which a cheap retreat cost is always very nice to have. And then additionally, let's say uh, because our Gengar EX is weak to darkness, right? Let's say you're running against like a Arbok 
deck or like a Nido King deck, something like that, then you put in Clefairy Clefable, it's weak to metal. It has a totally different weakness. So I really like this. If you're playing against a uh, darkness type deck, you can pivot into the Clefairy Clefable line and it's, uh, it's weak to metal instead, right? So that's why I really like this card. Um, I, I think it's, I think it's kind of, it's, it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like a good, like cheap Pokemon, right? And I like that it has one evolution because when you evolve Pokemon, you get rid of status effects like poison, um, or like paralyze, right? So, uh, I really, really like the Clefairy Clefable combo. And then we have, if you watched my video yesterday on the meta decks, we have, one of nine ex mewtwo and in that meta video from yesterday we saw a lot of people were running one non ex like mewtwo one non ex articuno in their decks right and i see it i see the vision this guy is just a good meat shield essentially he's just a good tank right he has a two retreat cost which is pretty cheap he has a hundred h20 120 hp which is a pretty high amount. He's not an EX Pokemon, so he's only worth one point. And yeah, that's pretty much it. He's just here to tank damage and he does his job well. And I mean, you're not really going to be attacking with him, but you can if you need to. If you absolutely need to in a pinch, he can hit for 120. So I like this Pokemon as a one of in this deck. I think it is a pretty spicy uh, tech card. Then moving on to our trainer cards, we got two potions. I like having two of just so we can uh, keep our, our Gengar nice and healthy or keep our uh, Mewtwo healed if we need to stall some more. I have one X speed instead of two because all the Pokemon in this deck have a pretty low retreat cost. Uh, Ghastly, Clefairy, Clefable, and Haunter all have a retreat cost of one. And then Mewtwo and Gengar EX have a retreat cost of two. So I think one X speed is fine. Um, yeah, that's the reason I only got one and not two. And then two Pokeball, of course, draw some cards, two research, and then one Giovanni, one Sabrina. I've been liking this split as well of one and one of each. Sometimes there's like, there's a time where I was like, oh man, I wish I had, uh, Sabrina. Oh, I wish I had Giovanni, right? Instead of going all in on the Sabrina or all in on the Giovanni, you get one of each. So this is the deck. I... I think I cooked with this deck, man. I think this deck is really good. Uh, I think it's slept on. And yeah, let's see it in action. All right, let's get cooking here. Let's get cooking. We're going first. You know what? I don't even care. I'll take it. Give me first. Let's see. We got Clefairy. Yep, I'll put Clefairy in the active. And then we'll build up our Ghastly in the back. Um, Could just put one Ghastly for now. We don't need to put both of them. And true, okay. Okay, sand true. We got the Clefable, nice. Pokeball, let's see what we get. Mewtwo, nope, Clefairy. Uh, let's go ahead and put... We could put this other Clefairy down. And we'll keep our hand here. We'll keep a slot open in case we draw the Mewtwo. And we're going to start doing 40 damage next turn, which is nice with the Clefable. That is one sort of benefit to going first. I know going first sucks most of the time, but at least we can evolve first. We can start hitting for 40 with Clefable. Okay, Machop. And a Hitmonlee. So this is going to be... This should be a favorable matchup for us. I'm hoping he does not have Doug Trio because I really hate that card. <laughs> that card is so annoying. Oh, you know what? If they put in Mankey... Okay, I was about to say, I'm just KOing it with Clefable, right? Hitmonlee. Oh, they're trying to snipe my Ghastly. Yep. That's a pretty smart plan. That's pretty smart of you. But, little does he know, I have a second Ghastly. Close up, uh, evolve that. We can evolve that. And since he's targeting this Ghastly, I'm going to put in the other one. Uh, well, should I put in the other one now? Maybe I wait a turn. Let's wait a turn. Let's wait a turn. Let's, let's not show him the, 
the second ghastly just yet, right? I like to, if if possible, I like to kind of withhold information from my opponent. So we'll let him think that they're safe, right? That they can take out this ghastly, but I got the second one in my hand already. So let's see if they, if that's what they do. And slash Machoke. Wait, they didn't even attack. I think they just forgot to attack. I, I think... I mean, am I tripping? Or did they forget to attack? Okay, well, let's build up... Ghastly. We're going to attack for 40 here. We're going to kill the Hitmonlee. Actually attack for 60, because he's weak to Psychic. We just need Haunter, and we're, we're good to go, man. There's a sand slash. I'm gonna come in for 70 damage. Alright. So there's 70. Michael Fable goes down to 30. Oh, there's the Haunter. Okay. We're locked in now. We are locked in. So we're gonna evolve that ghastly. We're gonna energy the Haunter. And we don't need to use this potion right now. We'll just go ahead and hit for 40 again. And next turn, our Gengar is online. And yeah, this is this is looking good. This is what I like to see. The sooner we can get Gengar, EX, and our active slot, then the sooner we can prevent them from using supporter cards. So, see what they're going to do. They got the Primeape, but they didn't... But it's not damage, so it's not hitting for the full... Okay, and they got them a champ EX. The fable's down. That's fine. I think we're good, honestly. We got our Gengar here. And we got the advantage. Sabrina. I don't even I don't need a Sabrina right now, but I could Sabrina to close out the game. Yeah, we're looking really good here. So, Gengar, we're going to energy the Gengar, we're going to hit for 100, and then I'm not going to Sabrina here, but we'll probably put in the Machamp EX to stall, we Sabrina, we KO the Primeape, and then we win the game. So, yep, there is Machamp, and let's see what they got. I think, I think we're winning this, I don't see a way... Yep, that's that's basically game right there. So we'll just energy whatever, doesn't matter. Go ahead and Sabrina. And whatever they put in. Yep, we got them. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. All right, we got another game going, going first. And we got Mewtwo. Okay, so we got Mewtwo to start off with. He is just going to be our meat shield for us. We got a Pokeball and Professor's Research, which is really nice. Ooh, Pikachu EX deck. Okay, let's see how this let's see how this does. And he's playing a um a basic Zapdos. Okay. You know, I don't see anyone play this card actually. For three energy, 100 damage. This also does 30 damage to one of your benched Pokemon. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I'd never see anyone play that. So let's draw some cards here. Pokeball. Okay, we got the Ghastly and the Haunter, so we're looking pretty good. Professor's Research. What else we got? The Fairy Gengar. Oof. Yeah, we're looking good here. We're looking real good. Hopefully we don't get red carded. I'm about to jinx, jinx myself, aren't I? But please, no red card. I have been getting red carded so much lately. I just, I can't take it anymore. I can't take it. Okay. Okay. So no red card. So they are just going to... Going to just stall, it seems like. So let's evolve... The Fable. Let's evolve... Haunter. And let's build up... Let's build up the Haunter... And we're just going to keep on chilling. Okay, there's a Pokeball. What do they got? They're looking for... Blitzel, right? 
That's what it's called. The little baby zebra. I always forget their names. Okay, he's running Voltorb. Voltorb into the electrode. And there's a Zapdos. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So let's evolve into Gengar, right? Let's do that now. Just in case I get red carded. I don't I don't want to get hit with a red card. I'm thinking, do I want to put in Gengar now? I don't I don't think I want to put him in yet until he can attack. Because yes, I do want to deny the support cards. But I don't I don't want to tank with my Gengar, right? My Mewtwo is my tank. And I want to build up my Gengar's energy. So let's just do that. We're just gonna evolve energy. And let's see. Let's see what their next move is here. Electrode. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, there's the research. So we could have potentially denied the research, but I just I don't want my Gengar to take damage until I can start dealing damage with the Gengar. So here comes the Pikachu. It's gonna hit for 90. And okay, we got research. We could draw some cards here. I could also retreat this Mewtwo, but I think we'll just we'll leave it in as a sacrificial lamb here. Potion and the Fable. So let's energy this Gengar and yeah, we're chilling. We are chilling. Mewtwo is doing its job. All it is is just stalling for us, essentially. Oh no, another research! No! No! I don't want you to play the research! Wait, did he not attack? Oh, you know what? He didn't, he didn't attack because he... He doesn't want to give me my Gengar for free. I see, so that makes sense. Well... Or... Too bad for you. I have an X speed in my hand, good sir. So we're gonna energy Mewtwo. We're gonna X speed. We're gonna retreat this. We're gonna put in Gengar. And now they're locked out of supporter cards. Giovanni does 110 potion. Do I need any potion right now? No, I think we'll save our potion. So we'll just swing for a hundred here. And we got it. We got a game here. This is a pretty interesting game. None of us have points on the board. But we both have EX Pokemon in our active spot, so something's gotta happen soon. Okay, he's continuing to energy the Zapdos in the back. It's gonna hit for 90, and then now we can heal our Gengar. I got the second Gengar, but we need the second Ghastly. Four cards left in my deck. Could be drawing into it fairly soon. Let's go ahead and double potion the Gengar. Or 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 do I have one potion? No, double potion, because he could kill it with uh with Zapdos. Right. So we're gonna use both our potion on Gengar. I'm going to energy Oh, I want energy here. I guess we'll energy the Cliff Fable. And, you know, I could retreat this Gengar and put in the Cliff Fable, but uh, let's just keep Gengar in. I think we want to keep we want to keep him in the active so he can deny the supporter cards, right? He did already use two Professor's Research, unfortunately, but, but now he can't use Giovanni, can't use Sabrina, can't use Surge. He, he's got to have one of those because he's got a big hand right now. Eight cards in hand. He's got to be holding on to at least one of those supporters. There's a second Pikachu EX. Wait, he put the Zapdos in? I could one-shot the Zapdos, bro. Wait. <laughs> Do they know? Do they know I can one-shot the Zapdos? Why would you do that? Or it's just there's nothing they can do, huh? Okay, no, he's gonna they're gonna retreat. Okay. I was about to say. I was about to say they, they were playing very smart this the beginning of this game. They can't be. I, I don't think they would make a mistake like that. Okay, Pokeball, so we can get the I believe we should be drawing Ghastly. 
Unless we get a Clefairy. Gastler, Clefairy, Clefairy. Gosh darn it. So, two cards left in my deck. I believe it's Sabrina and Ghastly, right? Yep, if I'm counting my cards correctly. So, we're doing 100 here. Giovanni brings me to 110. Ugh, so close to 120. So close. 120 is such a such a weird number to reach. So, what are we energing here? Oh, boy. Do I start energing the Mewtwo, actually? Maybe I do. I think I'll just start building up that Mewtwo in my back pocket as a, as a backup. And then we're going to swing for 100 here. It's a lot of damage. I mean... I don't know what else he can do. I think he he they backed themselves into a corner because their board is full. Yep. I don't think there's anything that they can do. We locked them down with the Gengar. I think now they're they're just showing their hand. They're just showing, yep, I had potions. Yeah, they they're just showing their hand for me. So Good game there. That's it. We don't need to do anything else. We'll just we'll just put them out of their misery. Good game there. Oh man, that was yeah, that was nice. That was a really good game. I really like that. I think this person played it very well. I think they just I think the Gengar, man, it's hard to it's hard to tell like his ability's working, but I think the Gengar's ability did help. And I think they just kind of put themselves into a corner where they just filled up their whole board. Alright, we got another game here going second. Thank you. Um, and I got Clefairy. Ah, uh, this is where I actually like going first. When I have Clefairy into Clefable, and then it, the game gives me second. Okay. Oh no, it's a Dragonite deck. Oh gosh. And that—that's not me being sarcastic. I genuinely, <laughs> I genuinely like get my ass kicked by Dragonite on the daily, dude. Like I play this game, I play this game so much on my phone, just. You know, whenever I have downtime, right? Throughout the day. And I get queued into Dragonite so many times. And every time I get my ass beat. Not today. Not today. Today's going to be different. We're going to... We're going to beat up on this little Dratini here. So we got another Clefairy. Okay, this this doesn't look bad. Gonna energy Clefairy. We'll hit for 20 next turn we can start hitting for 40 right with the clefable two gengars research potion yeah we got a pretty good hand oh it's got a second dratini so they're probably just gonna tank with this dratini energy the back one yep that makes sense to me so potion oh they're gonna heal this dratini actually that's kind of an early potion okay dan i just i just realized this guy's name is dan Hey, Dan. So let's do... I was about to play that Mewtwo, but let's draw first. I want to see what I draw with the, uh, the research first, right? I usually... You always want to draw cards first when you can because your play line might change. So we draw Sabrina Haunter. Just missing the Ghastly for our Gengar. So yeah, I'll go ahead and drop the Mewtwo now. And then we can put in this Clefable. And you know what? We'll energy this Mewtwo up. We'll energy that Mewtwo, and then we're going to hit for 40 here. Oh, and they're playing Articuno. Okay. So this is a Dragonite Articuno deck. Oh, there's their second potion. Okay. They're really tanking here. Oh, they're playing Misty. Hold up now. Misty in the Dragonite deck? <laughs> it failed. Okay, we got the ghastly. Now we're cooking. Now we are absolutely cooking. So let's play ghastly. We're going to start energing that up to evolve into Haunter, into Gengar. Do I want to Sabrina here? I think so. I think so, right? Because I don't care about this Dratini. I, don't, I really don't care about this Dratini. All it is is it's a stall for him to either play Articuno or the Dragonair to Dragonite. So yeah, we're going to Sabrina. I don't care about this Dratini. All right, so they'll put in the Articuno. 
the Fable. Okay. They're playing Misty, though. They could have another Misty. Oh, gosh. Misty high roll into Blizzard. That would be pretty nasty. That would be disgusting. Oh, and that Dragonair is just chilling in the back. Oh, here comes a Dragon Knight. There it is with the full art, too, to flex on me. We got Giovanni. How many cards left in my deck? Six. I got eight. Okay, Haunter. And next turn, our Gengar EX is coming in. So Clefable's going to be hitting for 40 here. Do I want a Giovanni to hit for 50? Ah, we can hang on to Giovanni. We can hang on to him. Okay, so Dragon Knight is online. Oh gosh, and here comes the next Misty. Let's see. Okay. Okay, one energy. Not bad. Not bad. X speed. Oh gosh. That's all he needed to retreat. Just the one Misty and X speed. Here comes a Dragonite. Oh my gosh. Oh no. There goes one Pokemon. Mewtwo is dangerously low. So we're an energy haunter. Here comes Gengar. Um, yeah, we can X speed here. Let's X speed. The Fable. Treat this. Put in Gengar. No more support cards, buddy boy. Even though they already used two Misty and a Research. Um, so let's see here. Potion. Potion isn't really doing anything. Man, if he just... If they just knock out the Clefable and the Mewtwo next turn, like... It's just game over. Or the Gengar. That's what I hate Dragonite. It's just like... Like, there's already so much RNG in this game. But it's just like, oh. Let's just add more RNG. <laughs> let's more add more RNG to your RNG. Is essentially what Dragonite is. And it always goes bad for me when I'm playing against it. Oh gosh. Let's see what happens. 50, 50... A hundred? No! No! Dan! Dan! No! Oh my gosh, that's so unlucky. Okay, <laughs> we gotta play another one, because that was just not right, man. Let's get a good game going here. Okay, this hand's not bad. Uh, two Clefairies, we got a Mewtwo, and a Ghastly. What do I want to put in my active? Either the Mewtwo or the Clefairy. I guess let's put... The fairy down so we can we can at least deal some damage right so let's start with that and it's a cubone okay so cubone another marowak deck perhaps research man everyone i've been playing just gets research right off the rip dude oh that makes my my gengar not as good i'm just not denying the research but yeah i guess that is one downside of gengar ex is that like by the time you get them online, your opponent probably already played a couple supporter cards. But they could still have, like, supporter cards towards the bottom of their deck they didn't get to play. So, let's do... Yeah, we could put this other Clefairy here. And then we will go... Energy this Clefairy, and then we're going to slap for 20 damage. So now I'm just looking for, what are we looking for? We're looking for Haunter. We're looking for Clefable. And we're just looking for, yeah. Yeah, Haunter, Clefable, Professor's Research. Oh, and they got their second Professor's Research. Yeah, we just need to really draw some cards here. Only got two cards in hand. Oh, they got a Pokeball. They have eight cards in hand. They are absolutely stacked right now. There's a Mankey. Oh, they just energy to retreat the Cubone. Okay. Another Cubone, and then they put in the promo Mankey. I don't really need a Pokeball right now. I need Professor's Research, but I guess that'll help in our deck a little bit. Ooh, I want to energy here. Let's energy the Ghastly and hope we top deck a Haunter. 
that would be ideal. Or the top deck of Clefable as well. So let's do Clefairy, right? Yep, Clefairy's gonna hit for 40 because it's super effective. Man, my opponent kind of lucked out there. If I had Giovanni, that Mankey gets KO'd. Or if I have Clefable, that Mankey gets KO'd. But maybe he's just tanking at this point. No, he's gonna energy it. Okay. No, he's just, so he's, they're trying to keep it alive. So they they heal and energy that prime ape. Okay, research. Give me something. Give me something good. Gengar, Clefable. Okay, we got the Clefable, but oh, I think it's too late, isn't it? Because we're doing. Well, let me let me think for a second here. I'm doing 40 damage plus 20 is gonna be 60. Let's evolve this Clefable in the back then. If I evolve this Clefairy into Clefable, it's just it's just gonna die, right? It just dies. So uh, let's do that. Let's energy. Want to energy the Ghastly again because we really want a Haunter. So yeah, we'll do that. This Clefairy is just kind of it's kind of bait at this point. There's the Marowak EX. Oh boy, here we go. Another potion. I don't think you needed to use a second potion because now I can just kill it with Clefable, right? So that Clefairy's dead. And yeah, we put in Clefable and now we just... Yeah, that, that was a waste of a potion. That was a waste of a potion there. So, oh man, and I just drew the second Clefable. Well, now that's essentially a dead card. Do I even care to put this Ghastly in? I mean, I guess so, since I have a second Gengar in my hand, sure. So, energy to this Clefable, and then we're going to attack, and we're going to kill this Primeape. Yeah, that was just a waste of a, a potion on their part. That was a misplay. We get one point there, and what are they going to put in? going to put in that Marowak. Marowak's coming in. It's weak to grass, though. It's not weak to psychic, so no advantage for me here. So they're just going to energy, pass turn, okay. Giovanni, oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> like I wish I got this Clefable earlier. I, I wish I had this Giovanni earlier. Oh gosh. Maybe I do need to tweak this deck slightly to make it more consistent. Um, Yeah, maybe cut back Clefable, Clefairy, maybe cut out the Mewtwo. But I'll talk about more. I'll talk about that more after this game. So let's try and finish this game up. What are we, what are we doing here? I guess I could just hit for 40 on the Marowak EX and then let's energy, let's energy this Mewtwo. If we get that Mewtwo online, that would actually be kind of good for us, right? So let's just, uh, let's just attack for 40 here. No supporter card. Uh oh, here comes Sabrina. Okay, so oof, what do we want to do here? Who's taking the hit? We're not putting in our Ghastly with two energy. I'll tell you that much. I don't know if I want my Mewtwo to get hit. I yeah, we'll put in. Yeah, you know, we'll put in the Mewtwo. We'll put in the Mewtwo. He'll be our. He'll be our shield. <laughs> Protect me, Mewtwo. Save us. Arawak EX. It's online. Gonna flip the coins. What do we get? Tails. That's okay. 80 damage. Okay. Fine. So Mewtwo is still alive. He's still kicking. Oh, finally a Haunter. Finally a Haunter. Thank goodness. Do I want to retreat this Mewtwo? Do some damage with Clefable? I guess I could, right? Just get it some chip damage. Yeah, we could do that. Thinking, thinking that's the plan. Let's do that. So we're gonna retreat, X speed, retreat Mewtwo. We'll put in Clefable. We're gonna energy the Haunter. So Gengar EX is online next turn. I doubt he red cards me, but I have four cards in hand. 
I'm going to play Giovanni just so I go down. Just so I go down to three cards. And he doesn't red card me, right? Because I really don't want to lose my, my Gengar EX here. So I'm mainly just playing this to go down to three cards and not for the 10 damage, essentially. Although the 10 damage doesn't hurt, right? So, okay. Oh, he's got the Giovanni now. I think we just win, though. So let's see. He gets a head, tails, and the fairy is still alive. And that's game, isn't it? We just retreat. This, we evolve into our Gengar, and that's, that's game. Gengar EX, baby. It took a while to get him in there, but we finally got him in there. We do 100 on the Marowak EX, two points, EG, thanks for coming. Alright, so that's it. That's the deck. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm gonna tweak this deck a little bit more. I think we're I think we're cooking here, but I do think that maybe we can make a couple adjustments somewhere because I do feel like sometimes it can feel inconsistent with the draws, right? Like like sometimes I have Haunter and Gengar, I'm just missing the Ghastly. Or I have a uh, Ghastly Gengar, I'm just missing the Haunter, right? So I want to make this deck a little bit more consistent. Maybe I'll change up the numbers with Clefairy, Clefable. Maybe I'll take out this Mewtwo. And then uh, Giovanni, you know, there were some times where I just kind of wish it was another Sabrina. So maybe we'll change that to a second Sabrina or maybe a second X speed. I don't know. I All I know is this deck is still a lot of fun to play. And don't expect this to be like the best deck or anything like that but if you pull two copies of gengar ex um this deck is pretty fun to play with and i think i think his ability is really cool i really like his ability and i i really like this card a lot so i'm gonna keep cooking with gengar ex i think this is a good starting point for the deck but i can i can cook a little bit more and i think we can make uh, an improved version of this deck later down the line so let me know what you guys think about this deck let me know what uh what kind of deck you guys are running with gengar ex if yours looks similar to mine if it looks completely different let me know and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one later